Welcome back to Aaron's 1972 Datsun 510. Sorry about the work. They're building houses here next to me. Uh, in the last video, I went ahead and finished up putting in the floorboard. Still have to put the seat mount extra brace in here. Probably won't be doing that today. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and make the final cuts on the rocker panel and install the new rocker panel. So the idea is to cut here and here and here cut out all the spot welds and then actually use um, a spot welder and put in the new rocker panel. So stick with me and hopefully we'll get this done quick. In about 10 seconds, you're gonna see me make a giant mistake. And that's me try to sand into a small opening in the four and a half inch angle grinder decides to punish me for that. And I've got marks on my arms and legs to show for it. cut off the rest of the rocker panel and now I've made the marks with the marker sort of where it's going where I'm going to cut and where I'm going to keep so I'm going to continue on with the silver sharpie and sort of draw in and cross hatch the places where I know that I need to actually cut away the pieces so that way there's no mistaking um, what I do I was very very lucky today I decided that I would go ahead and sand inside of a recess which then caught and cut my arm uh, as a grinder got away from me did a good bang up on my left leg uh, just be careful don't don't be stupid like I, I knew better uh, but that's what happens whenever you try to you sort of get tunnel vision uh, don't do what I did and definitely keep yourself safe All right, so you've seen me cut out the new rocker panel. Uh, my lights, for some reason, went out in the garage, so I'll have to check those out here in the next couple days, but I just gotta keep moving forward, so I'm using a different light right now. Uh, but as you see, I've now got, I now have, excuse me, my mom would be happy with my proper English. I now have the whole area somewhat clear. I've gotta do a little bit more sanding down here so I can weld in this area, and I need to remove all the paint from this back spot. So that way I can spot weld it in place. But the old panel is out and the new panel is ready to go. I'll go ahead and spray a little bit of that copper weld primer on there as well. Uh, this has got a good chunk of paint on it, so I'm good there. Yeah, um, all in all, that actually came off pretty easy and it's gonna be, I think, replaced pretty easy as well. So keep watching. All right, so now that I've taken the paint off of the two mounting surfaces, I'm gonna go ahead and coat it with the copper weld and then go ahead and tack weld it into place. Get close.
Wow, what a day. So today is Columbus Day 2018 and I had the day off from work. And while I went and did a few things, I mainly stayed in the garage and worked on the car. Things I got done today was put in the rear floorboard. And I also spot welded in the rocker panel along the top and then at the bottom all along the front. I've still got to go back in and actually stitch weld this, the pieces around and, and put these spots right here. So the rocker panel is feeling so much more solid and I'm very happy with the way that's turning out. I will say that I was reluctant to buy the spot welder from Harbor Freight, but I went ahead and bought that today and spot welded this in. And the amount of, the amount of non burn through I got throughout this whole entire portion of the project, I'm very, very happy with. It seemed like it did good welds all along the way. I don't see any ways where places there it's lifting. A oh, thing to note is I did forget to remove some, in some spots I forgot to remove the paint before I tried to spot weld. So it's definitely something you want to remember to do before you weld. But all in all, I think it lines up really well with the bottom of the car right now. It fits really well into the spot. I am very happy, uh, very close. And so now I got to cut that wheel arch out, put in the new wheel arch, uh, connect it to the rocker panel itself and go from there as well as rebuild the inner wheel well. So if you like what you see, go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. It's been a busy day. Uh, by the way, just a reminder for all of you who's watching the, who are watching the video, be very careful um, with grinders. I had a nice reminder today that the old, uh, the old grinder can do some good work on a leg and an arm if you're not careful. And that was wearing uh, that was wearing pants and proper uh, gloves. I wasn't wearing long sleeves, so that's why that sort of got into my skin pretty good. But uh, always be safe, and I'll try to do a better job of making sure that I'm always safe as well. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time. Haha. <laughs> never quick. Wow, what a day. All right, so in this video, okay, so this might actually be the second uh, finale, so uh, sort of really long day. This thing's feeling, the rocker pan is feeling so much. I'm feeling like this thing's a lot stronger than it was. I can't just push my finger through the bottom portion of this and and enter the cavity. Oh gosh, there's so many, uh, so to speak, jokes with that. So let's go ahead and rewind that a little bit.